Coming up. These three dishes will be here only for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. If you're not in the mood for heavy holiday food, then this cuisine is perfect for you. Find out where to enjoy this holiday meal even on Christmas Day. Plus, we'll look back at some of our favorite experiences throughout the year, and we'll get your workout started off on the right foot with personal trainer Yardano. All that and more is today on SoFlo Health. Hello and welcome to SoFlo Health. I'm Hunter Frankie, and this is a piece of trash. Today, I'll be cleaning up our act and cleaning up our beach before the new year because this is our last episode of SoFlo Health before the new year. We are off for Christmas because of the NBA on ABC. So you can still, of course, watch Local 10 and enjoy some NBA games, but we won't be around until the new year. We have an episode for you right here on Fort Lauderdale Beach that's gonna get you started on the right foot. And speaking of which, uh, you wanna watch where you're walking on the beach when there's stuff like this hanging around that you definitely don't want to be stepping on. A great way to get some exercise and just to get out and about and clean up our beaches is to bring a bucket and a picker, or you can stop by stations six and seven, where they often have buckets available for you to borrow, uh, but sometimes they're in use. So if you wanna come clean up the beach on your own, maybe bring your own bucket. I suggest a picker, and don't be like me and forget your gloves in case you need to pick something up with your hands. The bread and butter of SoFlo Health is fitness, it's good food, and living a fun and active lifestyle. Today we're gonna take a little bit of a look back as well as give you some new stuff that you haven't seen before, but let's start off with a little look back at Jiu Jitsu. Now we're gonna start, we're gonna show the same move, um, the mount escape one more time, and we're gonna progress further with a little bit more submissions and different moves, okay? Great. So let's lie down, sir. Mm -hmm. Let's lie down right over here so we have good camera angle just a little sure. bit here. Perfect, so now we're gonna start with the mounted position. This is a great position for me in a fight and a very poor, bad position for him. If he does not know how to escape this position, it's gonna be very bad for him. So as I punch, he's gotta cover, cover nice and tight, okay? Boom, boom. Now he makes a small bridge to, to interrupt my punches and make my hands go down. He wraps my hands and steps over my foot. So now he's trapped the whole side on that side. So now when he makes a strong bridge, he rolls me over. And then now he holds my biceps so I can't continue. Now if he wants to disengage, he puts his hands on my hips and then runs off and the fight's over. <laughs> I've learned a lot of stuff here on SoFlo Health but I must say that jujitsu is easily one of the most fun, challenging, and interesting things that I've gotten to do. Now, look at this. We've got a bunch of junk we've picked up off the beach so far. It's sad that it's here, but I'm glad that we're picking it up. It's a great way to get outside. It's pretty hot, even though it's December, but it's nice to be outside, get some sun, get some movement, and be doing something that's productive. Speaking of being productive, we got to visit quite the production earlier this year at Exquisito Chocolates in Miami. Right oh boy. Right <laughs> yeah. Okay, so go ahead, grab this. Okay. And you're gonna push the pedal so it stops it, and then you get it right underneath, okay? So I'm gonna push the pedal. Yeah. Boy, that chocolate was good. Now, I wouldn't eat anything off of the ground here, but I did eat something off of the ground earlier this year with Ricky Tree. Things like this that are completely misunderstood, we want to try and understand them a little better. Have you tried it? it can I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. Eat the leaf? It's not horrible. If you cook it, it's much better. You lose a little bit of that bitter, but yeah. it's good, it's, right? It's bitter, but it's not any more bitter than kale than or anything kale, else right? I've ever yeah, had. Exactly. Yeah. If you come to pick up trash on your own time, remember that 
it's either probably going to be right by the shore getting washed up or farther in the back where people are and they leave their junk around. If you come to the beach, please just clean up after yourself. Well, it's been a nice little look back of what we've done throughout the year or some of our favorite highlights of the adventures that we've taken. But stay with us because when SoFlo Health returns, we will go to a place where you can enjoy a Christmas or Hanukkah dinner while most places will be closed and it's pretty healthy too. We also have a check-in at Legacy where we're going to learn how to do a step up or a box jump. So keep watching SoFlo Health. Focusing on you, innovations in modern medicine from your team of experts at UHealth, the University of Miami Health System. Tis the season for food, fun, and festivities. But for some, this time of year can bring on feelings of stress and anxiety, says Dr. Fados Debar, professor of psychiatry at UHealth. We all experience some kind of stress and maybe a little bit of social anxiety depending on what you're called upon to do you know, during the holidays and the stress can come from you know, financial pressures. Dr. Debar, who studies how stress affects our immune response, says there are things we can do to feel better. It can be as simple as calling a friend on the phone or doing something kind for someone else to help alleviate the holiday blues. Try not to isolate yourself too much. Get as much sleep as you reasonably can. Avoid alcohol or go easy on it if you're experiencing negative emotions and try to stay active. Dr. Debar reminds us that the holiday blues are only temporary, but if feelings of sadness or despair don't go away, there is help. Going on for weeks at a time, sometimes continuously, would all be signs that you know you may be leaning towards depression or at least should get it checked out. Sometimes just focusing on what's good in our lives can change our perspective. Most of us are fortunate enough that we have much more to be grateful for than worried or stressed about. Welcome back to SoFlo Health. I'm Hunter Frankie, and I've been cleaning up some of the beach here in Fort Lauderdale. It's our last episode of the year. We just had a little bit of a recap, but if I haven't said it already, Happy Hanukkah. Begins tonight and Merry Christmas next week. You won't see us because we're off the air before the NBA on ABC. However, if you're looking for a healthy place to eat next week, then you might want to head over to Timpano. Christmas is just a week away and I'm on Las Olas thinking about food like I normally am. But on Christmas time, you may not want to cook or maybe you're not celebrating Christmas and you want to go out and eat but everything's closed that you usually eat. Well, today I'm at Timpano on Las Olas and we're going to taste some delicious food just for Christmas and what they have healthy year round. This is Chef Omar. Chef, thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. Listen, this looks amazing, and some of it's only gonna be here for a short time, so tell me about what's in front of us. Yes, so we have three dishes right, right over here that's only gonna be for the Christmas holiday, which mm -hmm. is gonna be Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We have the pan-seared roulade of halibut. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the lobster tortelloni with the Bordeaux sauce, and we have a pan-roasted octopus with Hasselback potatoes and a Casa Patron uh, salsa verde. These three dishes will be here only for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And then we also have two dishes right here that's always on our menu for lunch. The green bowl salad, which is farro, quinoa, carrots, cucumbers, onions, really uh, light dressing. And then over here we have our chicken cutlet with arugula, a little bit of salt, pepper, oil, and uh, lemon juice, and a uh, roasted tomato aioli. Who's Timpano for? Tapano is for everybody, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's for the people that want to come in and have a good time at the bar or have an amazing meal in the dining room or just, you know, have a couple of drinks and have a light fare at the lounge. So tell me about this. I recently lost 100 pounds. So Whoa. exactly, I was. Congratulations! Uh, thank you, thank you. And this is one of the dishes that I really enjoy eating, where I know that I'm not uh, being a glutton. You know, yeah. it's, um, So what's in it? Uh, you have farro, you have quinoa, you have a cotta salata, you have carrots, cucumber, pickled peaches, cranberry. It's a lot of flavor all in one bite. Yeah. You know, and this is one of our uh, biggest sellers for lunch. Wow, that's very very good. 
It's super light. Um, a lot of grain bowls are very dry. Mm -hmm. A lot of them, you know, they, they pitch themselves as some healthier because they often are, but then they sacrifice a little bit on the flavor because there's so much grain and there's like not enough sauce or they're using a thick sauce you don't want to use too much of so you don't make it unhealthy. This is a great balance of light and easy to eat. And like I said, it's not dry, which, which a lot of people have had either farro, quinoa, rice. Right? And it's like, very, very it's dry. So dry. And that's something that we here at uh, Timpano, you know, make sure that all flavors and every dish is, uh, is spot on. Remind us uh, when this is available and when they should come see you. These items are available for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and these items are available every single day for lunch. If people would like to learn more, how can they? You can go online, social media, Instagram, Facebook. Awesome. Well, Chef, thank you so very much. This is delicious. I have more food to try, but you can get back to whatever you're doing. Watch yourself full health. This is a prime example of why you want to be careful of where you step and picking stuff up on the beach. That is a handle of a blade. Fortunately, the blade is not on it, so we aren't in any danger. But then at the same time, unfortunately, we don't know where the blade end is. So just be careful when you're out on the beach in general or picking up garbage like this. And watch this. I'm at Conviva Care Center with Dr. Rodriguez, and we're talking about depression, specifically in seniors. Doctor, what do we need to know about depression with seniors? Depression is uh, one of the most uh, mental health conditions that affects the seniors. Mm -hmm. It affects them in a negative way, how they think, how they function, and how they act. It's uh, definitely a top uh, medical issue in the senior population. Yeah, it's important for both seniors to understand and their loved ones. And how would you recognize depression in somebody else or in yourself? Two of our three seniors are uh, facing depression and they're not getting treated. Wow. Some of the signs that you can uh, look for is the social isolation, mm -hmm. poor appetite, it affects the way that they sleep, that they function, that they act, and that they, they, they think. Yeah. And that's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. Yeah, and if you're a senior, are you particularly at higher risk for depression? Seniors have a higher risk for depression due to many factors, mm -hmm. including um, isolation from family and friends, loss of contact, um, also health, declining their health, mm -hmm. will potentially make them more prone to be depressed. And what can we do about it? You have to speak to your doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, we have in Conviva, uh, most of our care centers have uh, behavioral health specialists mm -hmm. that can help identify and treat uh, depression. Excellent. And how would I recognize depression in one of my loved ones? Social isolation, depressed mood, mm -hmm. also the way that they can engage into uh, substance abuse mm -hmm. are all signs that uh, the, a senior could be depressed. And what can seniors do to take care of their mental health? They have to speak to their doctor. Mm -hmm. They need to stay in close contact and express uh, how they feel. Mm -hmm. At Conviva Care Centers, we have uh, wellness centers mm -hmm. where they can engage in social activities and stay healthy. That's great. And if people would like to learn more about Conviva Care Centers, how can they? You can visit our website or come to one of our facilities mm -hmm. and we can give you a tour and explain how we provide with good service to the senior population. That's great. Well, Dr. Rodriguez, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Could a Goya Seasonings Greetings $500 gift card add to the health of your wallet? Of course it could. Listen up. Just go to local10.com to register. The Goya Seasonings Greetings winner will be chosen on January 3rd, 2023. So enter today. Go to local10.com for your chance to win Goya's Seasonings Greetings $500 gift card giveaway. Because if it's Goya, it has to be good. Come right back. Personal trainer Yardano is going to teach us about the step up and jump squat. Plus, a throwback from our first episode when we return on SoFlo Health. Welcome back to SoFlo Health. I'm Hunter Frankie. And I am picking up garbage along Fort Lauderdale Beach for our last episode of the year. You won't want to miss the episode we have coming up for you on the 1st of 2023 because we're going to help you start your new year off right in all of the best ways that you can think of and maybe a few that you didn't think of. But before we get to that, you're going to have to watch this next segment where we headed over to Legacy and learned how to do a step up and a box jump. 
This is Legacy in Fort Lauderdale, that is Giordano, and this in front of me is a box. Yep. So Giordano, this is what I think it is? Yes it is. So we're going to be doing a variation of step ups and box jumps, right? So first we're going to start with the step up hunter. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to put your leg right on the box and you're going to step up like you're coming up on the stairs and then you're going to step right down, right? So then you'll alternate legs, you'll go with the other one. Boom, and then you come right back down. That's that it? It's the step up, yep. So now we're gonna do the little bit harder version of it, which is a box jump. So a box jump is you do a squat position, now you explosively jump onto the box, boom. There you go, make sure you don't fall. Yeah, yeah, a little you, too far. You step down, Okay. boom. You never wanna jump down because it hurts your knees, right? So now we're gonna make it a little bit tougher. Now we're gonna okay. put it up to 24 inches, right? Now you're gonna give me another explosive jump. All right. Bam, there you go. What do you feel about 30 inches? <laughs> let's, let's try it, All right, let's find let's out. <laughs> I, like, I like the spirit, there you yeah. go. Box you know, jump. it looks taller than I uh, imagined. Here we go. <laughs> Ready? Ready, yep. Yep, explosive jump. Bam, Atta boy. there you go. Now you step down, you make sure you, yeah. Because you don't want to hurt the knees when you do those box yeah. jumps. So when doing the step up, what are the cues that I should be paying attention to when it comes to my balance, my, my muscles, stuff like that? Absolutely, so you always want to keep the core tight, right? And when you come up on the box, for example, how Hunter's legs is 90 degrees, you always want it to be that way. You don't want it to be lower or higher, right? Because you want a full extension on the so leg. You, don't, you don't want to be doing this? Nope, you don't. Or back here? Nope, just like that. Boom, and then you step all the way up, bam. And that's how you work out the quad as well. And then coming back down, is there anything special? Stepping down the same way you came up, bam. And you can leave that leg on top if you want. You can just alternate from there even yeah. if you wanted to. Yes, like that, there you go. That is a step Perfect. up right there. Yep. And then one more time with the box jump. What are the cues that I should be paying attention to doing a box jump. So the box jump is the same way as a squat, right? You want to keep the core tight, you want to keep your glutes engaged, everything engaged. Mm -hmm. And when you jump up, you want to come up on the toes and then bam, explosively jump up. There you go, land in the center of the box. I always tell the members, don't jump into the box, jump onto the box. Because if you jump into the box, it's gonna go <laughs> right gonna, underneath. Uh, you yeah. Do that number. yeah, you don't want that, that's a yeah. bad ending. <laughs> All right, and then if people are gonna incorporate either the step up mm -hmm. or the box jump, how many should they do? Um, I will recommend at least, it all depends on what you're doing. You can do box jumps for explosiveness. I'll keep it from six to three reps. If you're looking for athleticism, I'll keep it from eight to 10 reps on the box jump. Mm -hmm. And the same thing with the step ups, right? You wanna do four to six reps if you're looking for strength and explosiveness, but if you're looking for athleticism and speed, mm -hmm. eight to 10 reps for sure. And of course, you could always just come here and do it on the minute. Absolutely, you could come and join us here at Legacy in Fort Lauderdale, and we'll teach you how to do the box jump or the step up with your partner. So it'll be a great time for you to learn how to do interval training, two minutes and a 30 second break. All right, Giordano, thank you so much. No problem, I'm gonna hunter. hit more of these. You keep watching Still Flow Health. Get it, Hunter, yeah. Let's go, dude, let's come go. On. Now, you may be tempted to come and pick up some extra garbage in this area, you're really not supposed to be there. However, if you got a picker like this, you can always grab stuff within reach because people seem to use this as a waste bin, and it's not. Now, we are in the last episode of the year, but that doesn't mean that some of the content we have from our very first episode isn't still relevant today. In fact, it is. So watch this throwback segment from the very first episode of SoFlo Health. Clearly, this is an issue with two sides, raw versus cooked. Are vegetables that are eaten raw better for you than those that are cooked? Well, it turns out, according to Prevention Magazine, some vegetables are better for you when cooked than if eaten raw. So, here are the top five veggies that are better for you when cooked. Number five, carrots. Beta carotene is the compound in carrots that's supposed to help you with your vision. It does this by getting converted into vitamin A. Well, it turns out that cooking carrots allows the body to absorb more of that beta carotene. Number four, tomatoes. You say you don't cook your tomatoes? Well then, you will only be getting 4% of the powerful antioxidant lycopene. According to the International Journal of Food Sciences and Nutrition, raw tomatoes have thick cellular walls that inhibit the absorption of lycopene, but cooking sets it free. Number three, now, this one gets in on a technicality. Spinach. Cooking spinach doesn't really change the amounts of iron and vitamins, but cooking shrinks it down so much you can eat way more of it and get way more nutrients. Number two, asparagus. Asparagus is another veggie with thick cell walls that break down when cooked and let loose all the cancer-fighting vitamins. And the number one vegetable that's better for you when it's cooked, after the break.
Before we wrap up SoFlow Health, let's check in with SoFlow Home Project host and design expert Elena Capra to see what she has later today. Hey Elena, what's going on in SoFlow Home Project? Hi Hunter, so today it's all about festive holiday decor. Later today on SoFlow Home Project, we tour the historic Bonnet House Museum and Gardens and check out some of the holiday magic and decor they have on the property. Welcome back to SoFlow Health. I'm Hunter Frankie, and we're wrapping up our final show of the year. Before I show you the haul we have in front of us that we're gonna dump into the trash, let's complete our list of top five veggies that are best when cooked. Here's number one, squashes. We don't normally eat squashes raw, and it's a good thing, because the cooked versions are so much better for us, like ridiculously exponentially better for you. Now that we've finished that, let's continue on with this. All right, so if you take a look here, we've got a bunch of junk, and we've spent maybe an hour or so out here gathering all this. There's certainly plenty more to pick up, sadly. But it's a great way to just get outside, get some sun, get some movement, as we said earlier on in the show. And before we wrap up today, I'm going to dump this where it belongs, in the trash. And I would like to say a special thank you to everyone that has spent some time making SoFlow Health. It's not just me, we've got an entire crew of wonderful people that work very hard to make this show possible and to bring you the best health and everything else here in South Florida. So thank you so much to our crew. Here's a few of them. Thank you guys and gals that have made this show possible. And thank you for watching all year long. I can't wait to see you right here at 12.30 p.m. as always on the 1st of 2023. Now normally I would tell you what's happening next week, but next week it's the NBA on ABC as we've mentioned earlier in the show. But I'll see you at the Westin Fort Lauderdale Beach to start your new year off right on the 1st of 2023. So happy new year for right now. Happy Hanukkah, have a Merry Christmas, all of the holidays. I hope you have a wonderful safe time and until next year it's goodbye and good health.